and we are back. Thank you so much for tuning in to Backstage. I'm your host, Mr. Magic, sitting alongside Roddy Piper slash the Riddler slash the wannabe Snoop Lion. Well, there's a lot of slashes in there, but guess what? He's an all-around entertainer, and uh, we're really enjoying the time that we're, uh, you're spending here with us and Thank the you. knowledge that I'm we're getting it. from you and learning about you. So here's a question that only you can answer. Tell us, tell our audience, tell me something about you that no one knows. Gosh, something about me that no one knows. Now, we don't want to get no deep secrets, you know, in, you know, in regards to, you know, stalking and things like that. Yeah, you know? no, no, I have no, a hard something time about, with that you know, one. something about your life that, you know, is really like, you know, we know about your music, we know you want to be an actor, you know, you've done that, you've done this. Something about you that, you know, that the public don't know about you. Your mother may know about this. I hate to be so boring, man, but I, I really am a pretty open book. I'm pretty yeah? transparent. All right, um, fine. Did you suck two fingers when you were a baby or just your thumb? Just my See? thumb. Then, and I, there you go. And, and you know what? You bring, you bring up a really uh, interesting and traumatic story about child rearing, <laughs> you know, and about telling little fibs to your children. <laughs> okay. But, you know, my mother knows how she broke me out of that, that bad habit. Right, you know? right. Thankfully, and I don't have buck teeth, thanks for it. There but you go. Uh, hindsight's twenty twenty, and it wasn't a bird sitting on my finger that I tasted it was aloe right mom right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but that was that was actually that was growing up they used to tell the children when you lose your two front teeth as as children will if you suck your thumb you're gonna cause the buck teeth it's yeah. gonna grow that we, yeah she was straight up we weren't paying yeah. for any ortho orthodontic surgery or any kind right, of uh, right. any kind of braces or anything that was not in my that was not in my destiny so okay. yeah credit to my mom for being uh being uh, consistent on that, breaking okay. me out of that. So you're married? Yes. And um, you have any children? No kids. No kids as no. yet. Uh, any plans? Um, Life is beautiful right now. Understood. And, uh, you know, we're, we're taking it one day at a time and enjoying yeah. the blessings that we have. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have a wonderful marriage, so. Okay. So uh, you get, do you get to travel overseas to perform much? Um, have traveled uh, more recently uh, with Chew Stick. We went and did a Toronto uh, tour. Gosh, that's more than five years ago now. Oh, okay. um, but uh, but that was a great experience. Credit to, to the Chewstick Foundation for putting that together and coordinating that. Um, and we got to perform in venues abroad. Uh, Joy Barnum was on that trip. Original Live Wires was on that trip. And that's where I really got to, um, uh, you know, solidify the chemistry with my band, DIA. Um, so that was, a, that was a great experience. And, you know, th the aspiration is to do more of that, you know. Our network is is pretty broad now, and um, and the world has only gotten smaller. So now the question keeps ringing in our heads of why not? Right. Why not? Really, just comes down to resources more than anything exactly. else. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so now we just have to put uh, put some plans in place to 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 to, to gather those resources. Yeah. So also outside of the music, you have a regular nine to five. Um, yeah, right now I'm working in hospitality. Okay. Yeah. Um, but my, my normal vocation is actually in the insurance industry. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So right. That's, uh, that's been a beautiful journey. Um, something else that keeps me learning. Um, and even in my, in my, in my current role, um, you know, dealing with people s suits my extroverted nature. Um, that's the second time you said you're extroverted. There you is something you're not telling us. Just that I enjoy people okay <laughs> um, I try to I try to walk with a positive spirit and and I think that helps me with my exchanges with people no it does because I get that you know sitting here with you I, I've got this vibe from you that you're a likable person you know yeah. and, and you exude that you know which yeah. is which is really makes me feel comfortable and I know you're sitting here you're relaxed you're comfortable you know and, and that's good to have especially in the business where you've got to entertain yes you know so so it's a good quality to have and I'm, I'm glad you've got that spirit because I, I feel that in you yeah. you know when I'm sitting there talking to you so yeah. I, I'm sure and based on when you smiled when you said you got a great marriage you know that says a lot as well yeah you I'm know, blessed for that for sure that. So, any plans on any albums? I mean, you got singles, you know, you know, and um, yeah, we've uh, we've. I, I had mentioned earlier that I love to perform. Um, probably part of my, uh, I wouldn't say Achilles' heel, but uh, part of my my uh, procrastination on having more studio productions is uh, just that I've been so blessed to have Chew Stick around for all of this time. Right. Um, you know, we started Chewstick 2003, right after I graduated from university, because 
the places that we performed at previous to that, um, you know, in my late teens, those organizations have moved on, or, you know, basically um, shut down. Yeah. Um, since then, you know, for the last, gosh, 12 plus years, we've had a place to perform on a regular basis and to always be able to, 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 to get out that energy and to get yeah. that immediate feedback, that immediate, you know, um, um, response, response that, yeah. that basically that I feed off of. Yes. So I haven't really felt that great a need to, to, to immortalize my, my, uh, <laughs> my talent, I guess. I got you. Um, that motivation is starting to, 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 to definitely bubble up now. Um, again, working with, with, with the musicians that I'm working with, um, Derek G in particular, um, awesome producer, multi-genre, all over the map. And, and, and he has great energy that I feed off of musically. He was a producer of CrossFit, by yes. the way, and the right. person that actually encouraged me to say, oh, hey, man, uh, you know, why not try this? And, uh, and it came out beautifully. It I really did. enjoyed it. It certainly did. <laughs> and again, that was, that was the show that he performed at the, uh, you know, the Heroes Weekend, the Heroes Weekend. CrossFit. And uh, we actually uh, played that song on Mix 106 as well. You appreciate, know, we got that, appreciate all the local DJs that, uh, that dropped that. Yeah. Um, also have to shout out E Levels, Rajiv and Tanzawi. Um, they all jumped on the on the rhythm, and um, and it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But um, getting back to your question, after CrossFit, the plan is to release another single. Okay. And then a single after that. Um, Same you know, genre in the soca genre, or no? Actually, the next one will probably be more in that um, hip hop R and B lane that you okay. that you mentioned. All right. um, and you know, talk about getting off the island. It's called Flying. You know, it's just talking about taking our talents and, you know, having this beautiful place, but soaring away from here so that we can okay. take it out to the world. All right. Also have to shout the Collie Buds, you know what I mean? You know, all the artists that have gone before and really, you know, putting Burmy on the map in yes, a big way. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, any music videos out at all? I'm in the production of uh -huh. the CrossFit video yeah. right now. Okay. I uh, started shooting that properly yesterday. Um, got some footage from the Soka versus he uh, Reggae Weekend and uh, some things from Bermuda Heroes Weekend. So I have to big up, uh, have to big up uh, my guys Shane and Donald um, down there at, at Near Future Records. Um, you know, I've known, known those guys for a very long time. Right. And um, and it's just beautiful to finally be working on that level with them as That's well. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, the the, the track got uh, you know final um, final recording and and mastering was done at Near Future Records, and um, you know um, I also have to give a major major thanks to the Bermuda Arts Council because off of the the buzz that we generated off of releasing the single for free, um, we're able to go to the Arts Council with with, with that information and um, put together a proposal and they, they basically gave the support to help us to, to put together this music video. So definitely have to publicly thank you, uh, Bermuda Arts Council, for that. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's an avenue that any artist can actually utilize. Uh, it was surprisingly yeah. simple. Uh, yeah. it could, applications could be a little bit intimidating, yeah. um, but they just want to make sure that they're being responsible with the government press or with, with, you know, with, with, with the resources it's that they've they, been yeah. granted. Yes. And, um, you know, I had to essentially map out my plan, put together a written statement about where I've been and what I aspire to do. And, um, and, and credit to the committee, um, uh, you know, for, for putting their heads together and they gave us the majority of what we, what we required. All um, right. So it's all coming together thanks to collaborative effort. Okay. Big up Burmy. <laughs> Righty, thank you. I truly appreciate you being here. Thank you, Mr. And Magic. I've learned a lot about you. You know, like I said, uh, I, I did, I knew of you before, we met before, but mm -hmm. I didn't know you. Now I feel like, you know, we've known each other for a long time. Uh, thanks and, uh, for giving the platform. Hey, you, you know what? It's all about you. It's all about our local artists, promoting, introducing, and just letting people know what you're about. So folks, stay tuned. His R&B rap single is coming out before 2018 i'm just that's all i'm saying giving you a little gap here. i appreciate your <laughs> head that's a good head yeah, you know <laughs> so uh join us for another episode of backstage next week new artists new conversation i'm your host mr magic my guest rowdy rowdy piper slash the riddler we'll see you next time dia fyb dia that's your band <laughs> yeah. yeah oh yeah gotta let them know about that so thank you for being here now also, oh, got to remember, again, want to thank exclusive uh, homes for, for the set design 
and uh, for allowing us to shoot our season three here at Exclusive Films. You can come by there on Reed Street, right across the street from uh, the uh, Supermarts Warehouse. So you can check them out, some great things in here. So thanks again to Steven and to the staff here at Ex Exclusive Homes for letting us, you know, have this beautiful set. Incredibly comfortable. It is indeed. <laughs> all right. So again, you all have a blessed evening. Yeah. Man.